for the win. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm brought to you in a different car. It is not my Suzuki. It's not Susie the Suzuki. Today Bruce. it is Bruce. This is our new van. Ow. Are we, I'm gonna say Al, I'm gonna be in it, okay? It's really just Jake's, but I'm gonna be in it all the time, you know? So, like, it's Al. What's mine is yours, love. Really? I'm just gonna be cameraman, and Jake's gonna be doing all the work like he is right now. So, this is the van. Say hi to the van. Hi, van. And this is my seat. That's Jake's seat, because I can't drive it, because it's a manual. Is this a manual? No. Oh, it's not a manual. It's just really big. Jake, come sit in front. What type of van is it? A Mercedes Benz Viana. Viana. Why does that sound Italian? Viana. Rihanna. Viano. Jake got a van, and because currently in Australia we're in lockdown and they, we can't really go traveling anywhere else, we are going to do it up, rip it apart, put a bed in it. You see on all these Instagram stories, I'm going to decorate it, and we're going to go traveling in it. So hopefully you'll see videos of us being able to travel soon, but this is our renovation series of the van. He doesn't like being on the camera. <laughs> this is really fun. I do. Please. No, I don't. This right here is our sock compartment. Now, you may be wondering why it's a sock compartment. Because it rattles. This doesn't actually shut properly. See how it's like open? So we have to put socks in it so it doesn't rattle. Are those washed? What? These socks? Mm -hmm. Probably not. So first things first, let's rip up the carpet. Have you taken a before photo? No. Really? Wouldn't you want to take a before photo? No, there you go. <laughs> what are we doing? Removing the carpet. Such enthusiasm. Someone got mackers. Huh? You got mackers without me. If you break that knife. Papa! She go. Hello! Wanna come see Jakey? Oh careful, her head's there. <laughs> can I try? You can try. Polly, that's a knife! When you say hi! Papa! She hugged! I have no idea what I'm doing. Do it, whatever side, sorry. Yeah. Ah, you, you keep pointing it at me. Would be so big work. Lord, have mercy. Jake got this van second hand. All the carpet we're ripping up has so many stains on it and dust and it's really gross to think of where the stains came from because this used to be a taxi. So I'm thinking a lot of drunk people have vomited and stains in the van. Exhibit A, what is that? I don't even want to think about it. Let you go. the nitty gritty of these little parts on the side of the van that I will not be helping with. You touch me with your dirty hands. No. What'd she get? F oh, did you get a piece? Did you get it? No. <laughs> get out of it. Hey, inside. Come on. Get in. No. I'll get your bicky. <gasps> in your bicky. <laughs> Ta da! Hi. I just feel so awkward, I don't want to talk to the camera. Anyway, so there's been a lot happened. As you can see, the roof's off, side panel is off again, and then one track of the runners. The runners are having difficulty with, with the bolts, because the bolts are threaded, and we have to get someone to come in and help with that. Everything's coming off. We still have to get these speakers off. And then what I'm doing today is getting all this tubing off. This grey pipe has all the tubings for the water heater that was originally there, but now that's gone. It's all empty, so I can get rid of that now. Recently, we have had to just strip it bare. So we had to take up all the carpet, had to pull out all the panels. Jake did all of this. I say we, but Jake did all of it and filmed it for me because I have no idea how to do any of this. Why don't you say something? Because you actually know what's been going on. 
in prone position. Am I talking? Yeah. This feels so weird. Okay. So when we first got the van, essentially... The guy who previously owned it used it as a taxi service. So there's a fair bit of stuff we have to do to it. We have to get someone to pull out an air conditioning unit. So this... What's this again? An AC unit. An AC unit. And it can't be here because... Why? <laughs> Well, if we remove it all, then it has more room and we can essentially put the wood paneling how we want it to. This is in the way because we need to take all this off so we can put a bed here. If this stays here, it would be like a little box and then we couldn't put like a bed in. So we have to move this to the front of the van. So we're getting a mechanic to do it because it's an engine. No, we're getting... It's not an engine. We're getting a air conditioning auto electrician to do it. We're getting an air conditioning auto electrician to do it. And that was really the first thing we did. And then from there, we put a carpet. So essentially we cut the carpet up. We just ripped it all out. It was the easiest thing out of all of them. And then the dude ended up taking out the air conditioning unit after that and took off the side panel with that. Now the car is basically there. And then the past few days, I've just been... I took off the other side panel. We've taken off the roof. Oh, also runners. Like um, seat track runners along there. That was a pain in the ass to do. I can't say that, can I? No, you can. Basically, the van used to have six seats back there. So it had these trims that ran down and they were really, really hard to get out because it was a very tight space and we ended up having to buy like three different heads for ratchets to get this one bolt out. Um, so, because Lily wants me to record, it's the next day. Um, we found a new essentially part for our ratchet try to get these things off if this doesn't work then I don't know what's going to work so like I was saying earlier we got a new head bit we're having a lot of trouble getting that black bolt out of the one that... now we can actually start working on it now that the seats and the tracks are gone today we're just going to do a little bit more so taking out speakers fixing up wiring and then it will be bare so there won't be anything and then we can essentially start building <laughs> oh wait can I do one I want to do one you gotta hold this actually yeah you gotta hold that that's so cool oh my gosh so we paint all this i'm so excited <laughs> this is so cool i love the wood basically i think we're gonna keep this as it is and then we're gonna paint the sides white is that right yes yes yeah, i'm paint excited it. Welcome back to the van build. We are on day, s I don't know. Um, and today we're getting some curtain rods to put along the windows so that we have some more privacy. But first we're getting to wrap coffee. So we just grabbed our coffees and we've already arrived at Bunnings. And by the time we arrived at Bunnings, which is like five minutes from Zarafa's, Jake's already finished his coffee and I have not. What's your coffee order? I just get caramel latte, but you caramel, caramel fusion will <laughs> Are you good? I am. I am I'm terrific. Can you get a pool noodle? I'm absolutely no help. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, leave me alone. And he's stressed. <laughs> I'm just the cameraman, but we're gonna go get plans after dinner. I can get the plan. You just scanned it twice. Stop. Look at all my plans. I got all the plans. Mm. Jake's putting the trolley away. Very stupidly. Oh my god, he ran into an old person. <laughs> Betcha he's regretting that decision. So we're back in the car. I have my iced coffee that has definitely melted a lot and watered down, which I hate. Not as good as before. Now we're gonna go into Spotlight and get some material for the curtains. And I'm gonna sew the curtains because I'm a DIY queen and I know how to sew. It's literally just a straight stitch on a bit of fabric, but... <laughs> Run, Forest. Um, so Spotlight was shut. <laughs> um, they're only open for click and collect orders. So I'm gonna go home and see what fabric they have online and get a click and collect order, hopefully. But we're going out of lockdown hopefully in about a week and maybe we'll just wait till then. All right, we're back home and now we are going to put the grass 
on these bits so that when we walk in from the beach and we have sand on our feet, we can just wipe it off. So Jake is cutting the cardboard to this size and then we'll measure it up to here and we'll cut it out of the turf. And then we'll do it on every door. So if we cut this bit out for now, so get a strip on here. Oh no. What? We won't be able to do it. It's gonna be too small. What? The turf? Yeah. You're kidding. No, because look. <laughs> Ta da! It reminds me of like that TikTok that's like grass car, grass car. Now we are gluing the grass down with glue that's green. So. We had to acquire the help of Daddy O. We didn't know what we were doing. How's it going? It's kind of satisfying. Noise. Hello, everyone. We are painting today. We have green tape all over the van, prepped and ready to paint so that we can do a little ASMR when we take it off and it can be like really satisfying, which I'm very excited for. And we're just painting the sides white and then we've decided to stain the roof so it'll kind of still look like pine and then these will be white. Do you have anything else to add? No, nothing. No, it's everything. I look like a boy because I'm wearing Jake's shorts because I didn't want to wear my jeans and get paint on them. So this is, this is the OOTD. <laughs> <laughs> so my camera died but we have finished the first coat um it's still quite see-through though so we're gonna have to do a second and then we'll take the tape off but it's looking pretty cool. I already think it looks 10 times better and I love it. So update from yesterday, we just finished painting on a second coat. So now it looks a lot better and it's not as see-through and it's not as streaky. Jake also got some wood paneling put down on this area and we have our fridge now. Peep my Hello Kitty socks. But we have a fridge and we have floorboards. That is what is new. And now we're gonna take the tape off, which is gonna be really ASMR, you know. Oh. Jake's tape job that was very bad. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like this part's gonna be the most satisfying. So we're gonna share the moment. Oh, that's satisfying. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> All done. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh my god, that looks so cool. No. Thank you. Oh, congrats. <laughs> this looks so cool. The lighting isn't great, but let's just work with it. So that was our van build. We um, have built it from scratch. You guys are getting a little sneak peek at the moment. Oh, no, on. the curtains are done up. You're not moving them. But we're gonna end it here because we actually have filmed a whole van tour and we show you the ins and the outs of everything that's in the van, all the drawers, our pull-out kitchen. We show all of it in a more detailed video. So that is coming out next week. And as you guys are seeing this, we are currently in Queensland on our very first big van trip. Uh, we are filming the whole thing. So you guys will definitely be seeing those videos as well very, very soon. Uh, we're really excited for this little journey that we're showing you and we hope you enjoyed our van build in this video. Make sure to subscribe. So you don't miss a van video or a video of mine and turn on the notification bell because I'll be posting heaps of van content from now on. Anything to add? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go.